Capricorn, this reading will be for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. This will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Take it resonates, leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below or you can find more information about joining in the description box. Private readings are now open. If you would like to book one with me, there will be information posted about that in the comment section and in the description box. I am offering multiple different types of private readings. I will be hosting another collective ritual. We will be doing a release ritual on the night of the full moon, which is on September 17th. It will also be a partial lunar eclipse that night, okay? Information will be posted in the comment section if you would like to join us in releasing that night. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. So before we get into the reading today, guys, I would like to talk to you about um, a company that contacted me. Now, you guys know I never do stuff like this. I don't. I, I don't think I've ever done anything like this on my channel. But I was contacted by a company um, that does sell um, authentic gemstone jewelry. All right, guys. For every um, piece of jewelry that they sell, they donate um, a portion of the money that they make off of the jewelry to um, programs that have been put into place um, to help protect sea otters, okay? So the company is called Otter Spirit. Like I said, they do... Um, so authentic gemstone jewelry. Sorry, guys, I had to get my little booklet. I have little notes here because I can't remember anything. Um, all of their bracelets. They also sell like necklaces. And at the beginning of each month, they re they release um, collect collections at the beginning of each month. And all of their bracelets and jewelry have like a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have like a little sea otter medallion on them. Um, and... Their mission is pr to protect California sea otters. Um, the sea otter population was pretty much near extinct extinction. I can't talk, of course. <laughs> and it's now recovering since the implementation of these conservation programs. And they do donate a dollar for each bracelet or each piece of jewelry that they sell. Um, and... I think in the month of, I think August, they were able to donate $1,000 to these conservation programs. Um, so it is a good cause. And I did, um, I thought that, you know, it was something that I wanted to share with you guys. So um, I will be putting a link to their website in the description box. Um, where's my little box I was going to show you guys? Um, I will be putting a link in the description box um, to the website and a coupon code as well for 20% off if you guys would like to purchase something. Um, this is what a, the bracelets come in. They come in these little boxes like this. I'm wearing a Labradorite on this arm and this is an amethyst over here. Um, and then they also sent me a Celestite um, and it comes with these little um, cards in it and it tells you what type of crystal it is. It tells you, it has like a little like affirmation on it. Like this one says, I'm open to receiving divine guidance. Um, it tells you how to care for it. It tells you like an intention. So this one says intuition. It tells you the um, associated zodiac sign. So this one says Gemini, Libra, Pisces, and Cancer. And it also tells you the chakra. So it says third eye, it says third eye and throat chakras. Um, and then the bracelet comes in this little like fold over, um, like felted type envelope thing <laughs> um again it has a little otter medallion on it and yep here's the celestite bracelet so i'm gonna put this one on too so yeah this is what they sent me they're really high quality um and yeah so like i said you can find the link to that in the description box so let's go ahead and get into the reading let's do a few more shuffles
right, Capricorn. What is going on with my Capricorn Collective? So we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, the Fool in Reverse. Lib uh, what was I going to say? Libra. Aquarius Energy. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Libra. And we have the Three of Wands in Reverse. There's a lot of like conflicted energy here. Clarify the Two of Pentacles in Reverse. We have the Three of Cups. Clarify the Five of Wands. Yeah. Oh, well, we do have the, the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Mm. And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So the reason why there's maybe a lot of, like, confused energy here is because someone's still healing from something. Um... Also, somebody is like possibly trying to figure out who they want to be with because with the two of pentacles and the three of cups, like somebody could have options or they're, they're trying to decide between like multiple different people or two different people. They may not, or they're trying to decide between like, do I want to be in a relationship? Do I want to just like, like have fun party? Do I want to hang out with my friends? Like, do I want to just like be social? Like somebody just does not know what they want to do like there's like a lot of like or they're just trying to juggle everything like maybe their dating life their friends their family having fun like i don't know we have the nine of cups in reverse so somebody just is actually not very fulfilled right now all right um mm. or somebody's in a very selfish or greedy it's like somebody wants everything See, if it's not that somebody's, and also not happy at the same time, somebody is like one in their, the, the nine of cups reverse can sometimes to me be like a wants their cake and eat it too energy. Okay. Um, five, of, but see, maybe someone's finally coming out of that energy. It's like somebody's maybe coming to the, the conclusion like, okay, I can't have all. It's like it's starting to become too much. It's like someone's like, okay, I can't juggle all this stuff. It's, it's starting to become too much. It's starting to cause too many obstacles. Because especially if like somebody was trying to have you and then have everything else, obviously that was causing issues between the two of you. So with the seven of cups in reverse, it's like somebody's maybe starting to like come out of this energy where either they're like dropping options for you or they're starting to get clear on like what it is. Like they're, they're making some decisions here. They're making some choices. We have the full in reverse and the 10 of swords in reverse. So. Somebody, somebody definitely could be holding back from you because they are definitely still trying to like maybe heal from something or hmm, three of wands. Or, there's a, there's definitely a delay here, and I feel like it's because somebody is having some issues. Like either there something going in their on in their finances, or there's something going on in their family, or they're like going through a divorce or like an ending of like some type of long term situation, huh? So where does Capricorn, what does this have to do with Capricorn? So we have this, yeah, the Tower, Scorpio energy. What about the Tower? The Nine of Wands. And we have this, oh, Spirit is telling you to keep, they know that you've been going through it kind of, or they're telling you to hold your boundaries. They know that you're tired or they know that you've been going through it, but they're telling you to keep persevering because I feel like things can suddenly change at any time for you. Like, and it looks like for the best because we do have the six of wands here. What's the six of wands? You have some type of victory or success coming in. Look, a relation. See? <laughs> it's like, they know that you've been through it. They're telling you to continue to hold your boundaries because things could turn for the better when it comes to a certain connection. Either you have a relationship coming in out of nowhere or things are going to turn for the turn for the better in a connection out of like maybe possibly out of nowhere tell me yeah we have the three of swords in reverse what about the three of swords in reverse the ten of wands what about ten of wands yeah the eight of swords what's that do with capricorn 
it's like overcoming some type of heartbreak or healing. Yeah, healing from some type of heartbreak that was burdening you for a long time. Yeah, what about the Six of Pentacles? The Yeah. Giving generosity. Yeah, having better boundaries. It's almost like having better boundaries is going to protect you from being in the Three of Swords again, being in the Eight of Swords, being in the Ten of Wands. Okay, so what does that have to do with this Two of Cups? The Three of Pentacles, the Lovers. And see, you're about to be in something here. The Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the... Pa Who's this offering you a relationship? Who is this? The Death card? It's somebody that is possibly in, closing out some type of karmic cycle here. Okay, so are, they're ending something. The Temperance card. Yeah, I feel like they're healing from something. Why is that? There's some type of delay here. The Ace of Wands. You had a false start with this person. Ace of Wands. But see, the Knight of Cups. Why? See, they're about to take action towards you. I feel like there was some type of delay with this person because they were still healing from something. But I feel like they're finally closing out a cycle. They're about to come in with some type of love. It's like they're fine. It's like the, the four of swords is like, because the, the, the four of swords upright is like they're healing. They're resting. Like they needed to take some more time to heal. They needed to take some more time to rest, heal. But with the, with the in reverse, it's like they're coming out of that. And here they come with this love offer. It's like you maybe tried to start a relationship with this person and then like you thought you and this person were going to start something and then it's like it ended. It was like a false start, but it was because you know like how you think like you're ready to like get into a relationship and then you start trying to start a relationship with it that somebody and then it's like, how do I explain this? Like you think you're ready for something until you start trying it and you're like, wait, I didn't, I'm not as healed as I thought I was. It's like that type of energy. I don't know if that's you or this person. Maybe they thought they were ready for a relationship until they, until they started trying to like start a relationship with you. And then they, they, they realized that they were more wounded than they were, thought they were, or they were more weren't as healed as they thought they were. And so they needed to go back into hermit mode. They needed to go back into the four of swords, do a little bit more healing. Then here they come with this love. Here they come again. They're coming back to you. They just needed to heal a little bit more. All right. Um, so it's not over. They just needed to heal a little bit more. Okay. So. Okay. Very clear message here. So now what's happening. They're telling you. You're very close to something. Tell me more. Yeah. The four of cups though. What about the four of cups? The high priestess. And the two of wands. What's that do with my collective? The ace of pentacles in reverse. The sun in reverse. Is this person afraid that you're going to reject them? Ooh, this person's afraid of coming back towards you. The high priestess, the two of wands, the ace of pentacles in reverse. And the, this person's a little bit feeling a little bit down. So this is somebody that could have pulled back from you. They thought that they, they thought they were ready. They weren't, they, they realized that they needed to heal a little bit more. They pulled back from you. How did they exit your life when they pulled back? How did they pull back from you? Cause that's the problem. The eight of wands, Ooh, the empress, the queen of wands, the king of swords and the, they, they regret something they did to you. This part. Oh, this person feels like they treated you in a way that was not in a, a reflection of your worth. Yeah. Yep. This person feels like they treated you in a way they feel like you're an empress and they feel like they treated you like a queen of wands in reverse. This person feels like they treated you like a hookup or something. Oh. Oh. What is the high priestess? The emperor in reverse. This person feels like Straight to what? The King of Cups in reverse. This person, what is their intuition telling them though? With the High Priestess, the Star, and the stuck in the mm, clinging. I know they don't. 
This person is a little bit of, I don't know. What is their inner knowing telling them? What is their inner knowing telling them to reach out to you? Yeah, they're, they're inner knowing. Like their intuition is telling them to reach out. They do have a fear of rejection though. Yeah, this person feels like, so what did they do? What did they do when they left? Oof, not good. They just went quiet on you or something with the, the high priestess. Did they just go silent? The, the eight of wands can sometimes be like sexual energy. So I don't know like if you guys, yeah, something happened very fast between the two of you. They're, whatever they did, they regret it. The five of cups can be regret energy. For some of you, the five of cups, this person had their back turned to this connection because they were too focused on other situations that didn't work out. They were not focused on this situ this connection that could work out between the two of you. They were too focused on other situations that went bad. Whatever happened, this person was not... They, they're in regret because they weren't healed. They weren't healed from those spilled cups. Okay, so now what? What's happening next? The King of Swords. I feel like they will speak up. The world. See, what is this though? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse keeps coming out. They're getting clarity about some things. The world. What is this? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Uh, I don't know, guys. I do see them kind of feeling like they just kind of, they messed up. So what are they going to do? Two of Swords. The, okay, the Star and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. All right, what about the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, the page. they may come in and ask you if you're still single. Yeah. Uh, see this person is a little this person's getting jealous what is the world the de okay they're putting an end to something here the devil they're putting an end to something toxic and what is the magician in reverse scattered energy it's like this person was like dabbling in too many different situations or something yeah, I'm telling you, that's what they were. This is a player. Seven. Of, this person was dabbling in a lot of different things. Too much. They had their energy scattered amongst too many different things. It doesn't have to be romantic situations, but whatever they were investing in, that that's why they weren't giving all their attention enough attention to the connection with you. They're putting their uh, an end to those things out of touch. What something deceptive here. Um, it's like, see, we have, yeah, unfulfilled potential. This part, yeah, deficiency, lost opportunity. What are they ending with this world car? What is closing out here? Temperance. Maybe they're closing out a healing cycle. Patience, self-control, moderation. See, balance. Yeah, they're moving on from something. Huh. I don't know. Are they? I just see them kind of conflicted about you. Like part of them is like thinking they should just try to move on from you. But then I also see them like kind of getting jealous about you. And then I, I, I also see you receiving communication from them because we have the page of wands here. That's like a message. And then I see them. I do see them coming towards you with this knight of cups. Like I said earlier. And it's like, I, and then I, I want, I feel like they maybe wonder who you're talking to or if you're single. Okay, let's get some oracles because what's about to happen here? about to happen fireworks feelings full of fiery sparks love at first sight taking off instant connection blown away intense feelings and recognition 
Nothing will get in the... See, they're removing some type of blockages or obstacles here. Focused, no distractions, set on you, goals, no games, serious intentions, not giving up. We have, see, planning phase. Take a step back. See, that's what they did. It's like they took a step back from you. But they're also like, while they're taking a step back, they're eliminating some things. Take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward so you may turn your goals into reality. Strategy, research, and plotting. Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. In alignment, forethought, hard work. The hard work will be rewarded. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. We have golden moment. A blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you. That will make you very happy. Wear once in a lifetime special. See, good luck. Good things are manifesting. Blessed connection, fortune, lucky break, good opportunity, great chance, joyful occasion. We have breakthrough. A significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through is preparing you for this big break. Discovery, progress, big boost. We have conquering. Victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. See, that's that Six of Wands energy. Ugh, hold on. See, and we have Joyful Chapter. This looks good. So it says, take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate and enjoy your life. Fate is on your side. Happiness, fulfillment, and joy. So what does that mean for this person? Community. See, why is that? That community card keeps coming out a lot lately. It says, good time to make new connections. The universe may send some beneficial alliances your way. Friends, your tribe, and socializing. And we have commitment. Commit to this next stage in your development, and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long-term, de determined, and all in. So what does it have to do with community? My, see, there's something about this, whoever this person has around them, that is an obstacle. I don't know what it is. This person feels like the, this person feels like their community is going to make things hard for the two of you to be together. Why? It will not be an easy path. Blocks, setbacks, delays, big problems, hardship, trouble, a lot of work, burdens, and mistakes. Why? That's weird. Creative forces. Your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize. Artist, inspiration, and innovative. Why does this person feel that way? Rise and fall, and we have reunion. Time to get off the ride, off and on. Roller coaster, good and bad, inconsistent, unpredictable, and clashing desires. Get getting together, mending, reconciliation, harmonizing, compromise, and meeting again. Back. Ugh, I don't know, guys. I don't get what that community card is all about. Coffee cup. Maybe they need to be honest with you about something. Meeting, friendship, conversing, feeling uplifted, stirring feelings, enjoying the moment and awakening. What is it about community though? Maybe this person needs to declutter their circle of people. They maybe just don't have good people around them. Bad influences, family. You're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts. So you may grow and evolve spiritually. Inner work, awareness, and calling. We have, yeah, if you have independent here. It's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know. Free, detached, and uncommitted. Door to power. Your courage to stand up for what you believe in will bring great blessings to your life. Like somebody needs to stick up to some people. To, about what? What is it that they need to stick up to a community of people about? Your time is now. You're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. Ready time. What do they need to stick up to these people about? Community. About starting a new chapter in love. Learning, new phase in love, transcending obstacles. I need clarity on this. Why do they think these people are going to cause obstacles? Because they're going to have to start making you a priority or something. You're not meant to be on the side. Because they keep putting you on the sidelines for these people or something. You're not meant to be on the sidelines. Let your wishes and... They keep putting what they truly want on the back burner for these people or something. Or something about them not being able to give this connection the attention that it deserves for because they're giving these other people. I don't know. Let your wishes and dreams take center stage. They're going to have to start making this connection more important. 
oh shit guys hold on or they're codependent on these people or something time to reset your mindset to thrive and let go of old coping mechanisms that are keeping you at status quo fears that they're having they're like receiving some type of pressure from these people coping and stress what is this it's weird i've been picking up on this for a while okay so what about it connecting and we have it's like, do they have people around them that are like telling them they should just be single or they just want, they don't want them in a relationship. I don't know. It's weird, guys. So what's that doing with you? Healing. See? Healing emotional wounds, recovering, repairing, improving, shadow work, deep healing, getting over something. So what does this have to do with you? Community. Epiphany. Revelation, discovery, vision, realization, inspiration, insight, enlightenment, hint. So what are they realizing about you? The wait is over in the works, allowing conscious thinking, dreams into reality, revelation, small steps, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories, celebrate them. They will take you there. And it says painful ending, breakup, suffering, grieving, depression, unable to move on, misfortune. Keep the momentum going, whether big or small steps. Keep pushing for what you want. I knew this card was going to come out. Over overwhelming mutual desire, chemistry, intense desire, lust, sexual union, passion, hunger, sexual yearning, sexual fantasies. <sighs> get out of your own way discard your projected outcomes i just i don't get it i really don't guys i don't understand like what this person's community it's like somebody's having a hard time leaving what is familiar to them mm. they're like codependent on i don't know it's, it just doesn't make any sense I'm going to try to dissect it a little bit more over in the extended reading so that we can kind of see like what, why are they so, why is this community of people or whatever so influential on them or, and why is this such a big factor in their connection with you? Cause it just doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but it just, it, I see positive energy coming towards you when it comes to this connection. So it looks like they're going to overcome whatever obstacle is keeping the two, like whatever these obstacles is associated with this community of people, it looks like they're going to overcome it. But we're going to dissect it a little bit more um, over in the extended. Um, the link will be in the description box. Um, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, private reading information can be found in the description box or in the comment section as well. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh ritual information if you would like to join us in the release ritual on wednesday i believe it is on the night of the full moon and the partial lunar eclipse um information will be in the comment section and don't forget to like or follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok for more collective readings i hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and i will see you in the extended reading bye